Well, I had a wonderful trip to Idaho and I came home to find three of my four horses are sick and of course it's my only three horses that I ride regularly. Welcome back to the Western Working Wife vlog. If you're new here, my name is Tia and I'm here to show you my life hacks I utilize to shuffle shenanigans every week while I run a successful real estate business, remain a competitive barrel racer, and practice the art of homemaking for my growing family. I am not your typical social media influencer. I don't want to influence you at all, actually. I simply want to provide you inspiration in your daily life and show you that you can do it all and not lose your identity. You do not have to choose between having a career, chasing dreams, and being a homemaker. Ironically enough, the horses already had a vet appointment to get their health cert and Coggins done for the year. So in the meantime, I decided to start nebulizing them to get them through the sickness faster. Y'all, you really cannot make this shit up in my life, okay? So I was out here nebulizing horses. Everybody's sick this week, so we're nebulizing. You notice that there's something missing here? supposed to be the nebulizer is supposed to be on the mask except the cat ran underneath the horse and he flung it and I heard it and I went where the hell is it I've looked everywhere in the barn here for it it's not in the barn it's up on top of the barn yeah. thanks buddy I have the tractor to climb on top of the freaking barn to go retrieve the nebulizer. Y'all can't make this shit up. I just, it's never a dull moment. There it is. <laughs> Story of my life. <laughs> All because the cat scared him and he flung his head up. And it went flying. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's just hope it still works, right? <laughs> like I said, ironically, we already had this vet appointment set so we could get going for the year, make sure we had our Coggins. Since Streak was the one with the worst symptoms, they went ahead and pulled a culture so they could do a test and find out exactly what the horses have. I still have not gotten the test results back from that. But they did give us some antibiotics and the horses are doing much better now than they were when these videos were taken. And here are the boys, nice and drugged up because they had some injections done. All right, here's a quick life hack for y'all. So I am ready to go work for the day, but I have to go um, give horses antibiotics real quick before I leave. So I am gonna throw on a dirty t-shirt to not get anything on my work clothes because it never fails for me that I always end up getting stuff on my work clothes after I've gotten ready for the day. So I'm gonna throw this on, go tend to the horses, and then I have a showing, a listing appointment, and another showing. So, busy day over here. Not really like a little bit or streak I'm worried about this with. It's mostly birdie because I walk up and I give a little bit in streak um, stuff in their mouth all the time. Like, no big deal. Here's the puppy dog coming up right now. Um, <laughs> he, he might just do it for himself. But uh, birdie on the other hand, Birdie is not so uh, good about his stuff, so I'm going to actually have to catch her and see if we have a fight about it. So I'm going to give it to him before he eats it out of my hand. <laughs> it was a success. She did not fling it on me, but she does, when I go to do this, she sticks her head like way up. And she's 16 hands tall. So when her head goes up there, I can't reach it. I'm five foot tall. So, yeah, but she did good. We're getting better slowly at this. She does it with everything I give her. Huh. Yeah. Her theme song is that uh, Sweet But Psycho. I can't remember who sings that. Anna Max or something like that. Anyway, that is this horse. She is so sweet, but she's kind of psycho. <laughs> so today we switched to a different um, nebulizer that I have. Um, this one's the Elite. 
and basically the difference is that um, because this one's powered by um, an actual like air compressor um, it reaches like deeper into their lungs um, just because they're coughing so bad and how much like snot is in their nose um, I decided to do this one and switch to um, my silver um, to like promote that healing in their lungs and everything so yeah so just all it really means is a longer treatment and that we can't like go walk or do anything like I kind of have to watch them a little bit closer so they don't knock this around and like get it off and stuff so yeah fun times sometimes that's really not glamorous but the work's got to get done so writing a couple offers and a listing agreement feels good to be busy but it's Cheerios for supper. We got hammered with a bit more rain in Texas this week and Zane came along and was a total sweetheart about helping me get my sign put in the ground while it was pouring rain, um, switching out that rider sign and we met the photographer, got this beautiful home listed in Alito, Texas and it is up for sale for 525,000. Another little side business that I have is I sell Equiboss Performance horse supplements. So sometimes in my travels, you'll see me um, out delivering Nutribac or minerals or paste, things like that. Sometimes you'll catch me at barrel races um, with products on hand as well. All right, now it's time to get some spring cleaning done because I have been complaining too long about how dirty and gross the refrigerator has been. This was also a really good time to go through all of the condiments and stuff and check expiration dates and toss anything that had gone bad. So I put the um, shelves back in and this was also another really good time to get all my like reorganizing done too because I swear when you're just rolling on through your days and stuff things just end up wherever in the fridge. So. This was a good opportunity to get it all clean and reorganized and the old stuff was thrown out. The little handheld machine you see me using is called a Bissell Steam Shot. Um, I absolutely love how easy this was to clean the fridge, the shelves, everything. Um, toxin free, no chemicals were used. It was super easy to just spray with the steam and uh, then just wipe out with um, napkins or wash rag or whatever it is you want to wipe out with, but I was just using napkins. Um, and I, as I started, I just started pulling stuff out more and just cleaning, you know, just getting deeper into it. So uh, I thought at first I was going to just leave them in and do it that way and then I changed my mind and I was like, nope, just get it all done right now the first time so uh, but yes again look how easy it is just it everything just wipes right off um, after using this steam cleaner on it a little bit and again this is called the Bissell steam shot and what I love is it has little attachments like that little scraper deal you can put on it and um, it spurt, like steams and you can like use brushes and scrapers and things like that on it. Um, so I found it really handy for you know getting into all the little crevices and stuff of the drawers and everything that I was cleaning. I'll also leave a link to one of these in the description. So if you want to go ahead and pick one up, it's like only $36 for this, this model of it. Watch how amazing it works on whatever got spilled on these shelves. I cannot even believe how easy it was to get this stuff off, like with just steam, like no chemicals, no toxins in my fridge. That was absolutely amazing. I think it took like two times of spraying it um, before I got it all off, but yeah absolutely awesome um 
There is also like a deluxe model that has a attachment to do like clothes and linens and things like that. I'll also um, drop a link to that one in the description as well. Um, I think it's like a $40 difference between the two, um, but either way, you can't go wrong with one of these little devices. Um, it's fantastic for deep cleaning. And just like that, I have a nice, clean, and organized refrigerator. What a great feeling. And of course, because there are no dull moments around here, the day after we left the vet, Birdie pulled up completely lame on this knee. Now she has her own special vet appointment for next week. So stay tuned to see what we find out.